Hi friends, welcome to Emsel. So today it is the 76th episode in the biology series. So today we are going to discuss about that one disease and one type of cell. The child, measles and memory cells. So first memory cells. So after an infection like a battle between the bacteria or any other pathogen and the main attacker, I mean the defenders like our body, the immune system, on the, after the battle is just over, then some cells will just kill themselves and some of them will turn into memory cells. Not all cells turn into memory cells. Only the adaptive kinds of cells turn like the killer T cells, T cells, B cells and plasma cells. Yes. So we already discussed about these types of cells in another video in MNT. Okay. So these memory cells, for example, there was another attack. So the T cells will just easily identify that bacteria which was then like before the battle happened right so it will remember what happened and then it will again bring all the reinforcements to just kill that bacteria yes so the first time it will be hard and but the second time it will be more easy because our body knows what it is dealing with what type of pathogen it is dealing with a virus or like a bacteria to be specific yes so these memory cells are very important to us and also vaccines also create memory cells what vaccines do is sometimes they'll take like so they will take a weakened version of the virus or pathogen and then just implement into our body a weaker version that means it can't it has a little chance of for killing us yes so it is a bit less harmful so then our body can easily fight that pathogen and then we our body will learn how to defeat that pathogen in another attack if it actually happens if it is not a proxy sent by the vaccine yes so this is how vaccines and memory cells work so now let's get to measles measles just like smallpox was like many years ago almost killed yes just like smallpox which was completely destroyed by us humans because of vaccination so most of this happened by vaccination to measles as well but a change started where many people don't want to put vaccines into their children like that so measles infections started to grow in so is it bacterial or viral so measles is a viral disease so this measles is pretty dangerous for everybody so in 2019 only 200000 people were killed one and a half times more than in 2016 yes so the rates of measles is also increasing so how measles attacks is okay so just like a normal virus but it will also infect b cells and t cells not just any normal type of t cell and b cell but especially the memory kind that means if measles attack our immunity will get amnesia yes it will forget about the diseases which attacked our body before Yes. So, for example, before you got measles, you just got a flu vaccine. You just think you are a baby, small baby. You just your parents just gave you the flu like vaccine. Okay. But suddenly you got measles. How oh, so bad? So next, you successfully as a medical, you're cured of that measles. But there's a side effect. You need to get your vaccine again. The vaccine effects is completely gone. because the memory cells they were killed from that flu vaccine yes so yeah this is measles is pretty dangerous for us as the main cause of death from measles is not just measles but also the incoming diseases which come after the measles attack yes so because like the immune is very weakened after the attack and also there are no memory cells left that means very little are left See, so yeah, this is for today about measles. Bye.